We interrupt this program with a special report on the destruction of Atlantis. Brought to you by Gilligan's Three Hour Tours. For more, we turn to Sal Sonic. Thanks, Sam. Here in the mind's eye, we see Professor Don Von Eichen being pushed Step back through, through time 10,000 no, years to Atlantis. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Falling through space towards the five concentric rings that surround the capital of Atlantis. The crystal castle glistens in the distance as he lands almost softly in the Imperial Gardens. Is this a dream? Everything is, is glowing. The trees and flowers and the little birdies. Are they talking? Perhaps these immensely fat women floating in the sway will know. Greetings, visitor. Welcome to my sound garden, be you prince or public enemy. You speak in my mind? Of course, dear heart. And don't call me fat. But I, I was only thinking that. How, how did you... Empress, is this a man or a god from the sky? I am Professor Don Von Eichen from the future. Oh, the dark time. Here to judge the evil Atlantis. Hush, Charmian. You are my servant now and no longer an Egyptian queen. Yes, mistress. So, Professor, the Parliament will want to meet you. I'll let them know we are coming. Ministry, guess who? The foreigner has journeyed here as predicted. Bring him to the Senate tomorrow morning. So we shall. Now, you must be hungry. I'll just sprinkle this. Salt and pepper? Oh, no, dearie. My nanobot kitchen staff. Watch. 99 red nanobots turn into holographic servants. They create a huge table out of holograms? And stained glass walls float to catch the sunset. Nano chef, prepare a Jimmy Buffet with hot tuna, atomic rooster, humble pie, blue oysters, ram jam, mungo jelly, corn, limp biscuits, meatloaf with red hot chili peppers, and flying burritos. Oh, brother. And to drink, ambrosia, April wine, Iggy Pop and Moby Grape, Sweet temptations! Now, let's invite the breakfast club. Duchess! Erte! Everyone! Dinner is served! Ah, oh, another telepathic tea party! It is such a pleasant host at Club Bionic that we've never met before. Let's all welcome Don Von Icken, big bad cherry popping voodoo daddy. I have no doubt he is from the future. What a bunch of flabby, floating airbags. Oh, did I think that out aloud, too? Oh, no. Well, pass me the bread, Vonniken. Eat, everyone. This holographic food is absolutely surreal. The best I do ever had. They eat with such enthusiasm. And gobble it down as fast as it appears. It's... Mostly hollow food. Hey. Ah, so only a few hollow grams. Oh my, she ate the whole thing. Can everyone hear my thoughts all the time? One can think for themselves. Avoid distraction. Keep your ideas sharp and pure. Otherwise, they swell up and... Oh, the Empress passed out. And everyone disappeared. She's the hostess, so the connection was cut. Happens every time. Hmm. I guess they ate, uh, in excess. Nanobots, back in the shaker, now. She just sleeps in the garden, in the moonlight? I'll take us all to the castle. Hold my hand. Oh, my... Oh my God. Did we just teleport? How did you do that? Simple wish fulfillment. Now, this is your room. I'll wake you in the morning. Oh, look, a cloud for a bed. Maybe I could just lay back. And, um... Ah! Professor Vani? Is that you? Oh, Melgachinho, save me! I don't want to marry the pharaoh. <laughs> oh, save me, Gatching! <laughs> well, Sam, that about covers it for today. But listeners can get full details at cosmicsignificance.com. Thanks, Sal. 
This special report on Atlantis has been brought to you by Romulan Ale. We now return to your regular programming. With an update on the situation in Atlantis, we turn to Sal Sonic in the mind's eye. Sam, xenoarchaeologist Don Von Eichen was pushed back in time 10,000 years. This is his first morning in the floating crystal palace of Atlantis, and he did not sleep well at all. M- Mamba! Was, was that a dream? What? Good morning, Vonniken. Are you ready to meet the motley crew? She means the Council of Atlantis. Oh, oh, hello, Empress. Good morning, Charmian. Yes, I am ready, but please, no more teleporting for me. I was sick all night. Charmian shall show for us in cars. Yes, Empress. What kind of vehicle shall I conjure? A Fleetwood Mac. No, a Tennessee Ernie Ford. Wait, no. An Oreo speed wagon with Bachman Turner overdrive. Yes, Empress. Now, don't fall asleep at the wheel. Oh, look, the Emerson Lake Palm Arboretum. Von Eichen, are you really from the future? Ah, uh, yeah, Charmian. Are you really an Egyptian there, queen? Mm-hmm. Rothworks Princess, actually. Never got to be queen. Atlanteans make slaves of conquered enemies and oh, others they and the fear. Temple of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Do, do they fear me? Look, the Council of Atlantis? The Hall of They're Oaks. merely talking heads with simple minds and tears for fear. And here we are now, the Council of Atlantis. Not bad company at all. Oh, look, we're here. See, the Council of Atlantis and their servants float like school of corpulent fish. Counselors, if you have finished behaving like 10,000 maniacs, may I present Professor John Van Icken. Empress Cleato says you are from the future. Oh, yeah, 10,000 years or, or so. You see? The world will not end as some predicted. Tell us, Van Icken, how is Atlantis in your day? Uh, well, actually, it, uh, it does kind of get uh, destroyed. The end of the great Maya picture predicts it. Silence, Ochin. Slaves may not speak in the Senate. See, Your we each have a royal slave, no like me and Ochin. Now, it is true that something is blocking us from astral travel to the future. My best intelligence says that it is the price of Chai and Tina that has driven the future so far away. The Maya have an explanation for our astral constipation. We are in dire straits with our third eye in a blind melon. We have always been able to teleport and read minds, but an awful storm is blocking the astral lanes to the future. It's a blur! I do think the alien prince and his Madonna in Egypt are behind it. Definitely the aliens. It's God's punishment for our decadence. We have abandoned the laws of Poseidon. Now he judges us. Malarkey, I worked with Poseidon. Poseidon was a friend of mine. And Senator, you're no Poseidon. There you go again. Don't misunderestimate the Egyptians. What a waste it is to lose one's mental telepathy. How true that is, Chia. It depends on what the definition of is is. Read my aura. No new taxes. I can see Egypt from my house. I did not have a tea party with that woman. <sighs> this is your brain on politics. Quiet the riot. This is madness. I shall consult the scurriers on Planet Ceres. They will know what is wrong with the astral lanes. Hello, Mother Fresco. No, 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 my children. The Empress is right. To Egypt, send Von Eichen. Find your way back home. And your answers, he shall. No, no, no. Who shall take him there, Holy Mother? Charmian of Egypt, come forward. Yes, Mother Fresco. Phone home. <laughs> oh, do we have to teleport? That's the trouble makes me so sick. Well, folks, that's all for now, but you can get full details at cosmicsignificance.com. 
This special report brought to you by Gulliver's Delivery Service. No item too large or too small. We now return to your regular program. back with another update on Atlantis, where it seems aliens have blocked astral space. That's right, Sam. Professor Von Eichen is stuck 10,000 years in the past and cannot return home because the people of Atlantis are losing their access to astral travel. The Atlanteans have sent the professor and Princess Charmian to Egypt, where aliens have just completed the pyramids. Oh, I'm so sick. Look at all the people gathered at the pyramid. They are hypnotized. And and do you see that? Their energy is being sucked up into the electrum capstone. Look at it glowing. Their souls are presenting themselves to be weighed by the new pharaoh. What? See? There he is now. Is he wearing a crocodile mask? The eyes blink. No. He's reptilian. Oh, a trans-dimensional alien. They really do exist. Magnificent. (gasps) Who is that woman with him? The lesson of the hour will be given by your Pharaoh and God, Sabah. It's Mumba. You know her? She is uh, my uh, assistant. She wears the golden attire of a bride. Mamba is to marry the Pharaoh? Oh, she seems to be under his control. Sobek always answered our prayers. Praise Sabah! Does your soul weigh heavy? Come to Sobek and rest your spirit on my scales. For I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes unto heaven but through me. <laughs> Invite so back into your heart. It is God's will. Bring your burdened heart unto the Crocodopolis and sit in my scale. I shall relieve your burden for a small price. <laughs> Steals their souls for himself and stores all that psychic power in the pyramid. Why? Do we have a sinner among us? I think we do. Here, Pharaoh Salvik, take me! Charmian! Charmian, what are you doing? Sit down! Make me a royal Egyptian blood, your new queen! Please, don't squeeze the Charmian. Ah, Princess Charmian has returned to Egypt. Tell me, do you invite so back into your heart? <laughs> Look into my eyes and be born again. Don't listen to him. Sobek, be my personal savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, praise Sobek. I feel your power! It's God's will. It's a miracle! It's a mystery! It's a personal relationship! Praise the Lord! Lord willing! I'll pray for you! Spare the rod, spoil the child! Silence! Put the professor in the capstone and mamba until I have further use for her. What? Where am I? Vani? Oh, you rescued me! Meu gatinho! Dr. Smythe tricked me and pushed me back in time. Oh, Mamba, he fooled us both. Into the Electrum Capstone with you. We shall see if you can survive the energies inside. <laughs> What's going to happen to us, Bonnie? Eat you in the afterlife! 
With time travelers under lock and key and Queen Charmian by his side, the Egyptians' faith is stronger than ever, Sam. All that energy sizzles around the capstone, ready to be unleashed upon the people of Atlantis. We have live coverage at CosmicSignificance.com. Thanks, Al. This report on Atlantis has been brought to you by Sukalos Alien Adventures. Now, back to your regular program. back with this update on Atlantis. Time travelers Don Von Eichen and Mamba are trapped 10,000 years in the past, where aliens are preparing to attack Earth. For more, we turn to Sal Sonic in the mind's eye. Sam, it doesn't look good for humanity. The reptoids have built a great pyramid to collect human souls. But this just in, on nearby planet Ceres, Mother Fresco has been observing telepathically as best she can. Hmm, not good. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello. Nom nom nom. Um, Mother Fresco? Hello? Mm, who are you? Oh, Hot Guardia, Holy Mother. Nom nom nom. I am Scoria Tanaka from 2012, when so many of your prophecies have come true. Nom nom nom. Hmm, nom nom happens. You come from future? For Von Eichen, Mamba. Look at telepascope, Tinaka. Oh, the Pyramid of Egypt, num num, glowing with psychic energy. And look inside, Mamba and Vonikin. Oh, Professor Darling. If only I could teleport us out of here. When the cells in the pyramid are released, it will create a psychic storm, num num num. I must hurry if I am to save them. Hmm, save many. Two of each kind. <laughs> What? Num num? Prepare a saucer fleet, Tinaka. Num num num. Saucers? What are we going to. Oh, oh yes! Right away, num num! Num! Num num! Num! All birdies, num num! This is Tanaka! Set course for Earth! Today is a day of destiny for the Scurrius! Hot Guardia, my brothers, num num! Follow me! Folks, we have a new advisory from the Scurrier Council that it may be, quote, too late for planet Earth. Evacuation orders have been issued for all residents in the path of the coming psychic storm. With more on that, we turn to Sal Sonic, seeing it all. Sam, here in the mind's eye, we see a psychic sandstorm kicked up by the Egyptian pharaoh and Queen Charmian, possessed by the reptoids. But those dust devils are just the beginning of humanity's woes. Is it a dream, Sal, or a beautiful nightmare? What will happen when the reptoids unleash all that energy collecting in the pyramid? Well, first it will zap outwards towards the heavens and will spread out, covering the planet in an alligator sky. Look out, you'll miss it if you blink twice. Next, the energy wave will reset the magnetic poles. You spin me right round, baby, right round. This will set off volcanoes. Ashes, ashes. And earthquakes. We all fall down. The ice caps will suddenly melt. Crying over you. And those famous tidal waves will clobber Atlantis. So long, farewell, a Peter David Mohawk. Run for the hills, people of Atlantis. It's war. Soon we shall be the grateful mega dead. It is a day that will live in infamy. Basically, folks, the whole planet will be kicked in the axes. Worst of all, Sam, the global catastrophe will decimate the human spirit for eons and turn Earthlings into living factories of agony and despair for the reptoids to consume. I am in the world, but not of the world. <laughs> he is risen! Oh, Dr. Varney, how will we ever escape? Oh, Mamba, mein Liebchen, this might be the end. 
So that's the immediate forecast, Sam, and the extended outlook for the next 10,000 years. Full details at CosmicSignificance.com. Thanks, Al. This update brought by Mount Ararat Ambulance Services. Now back to your regular program. this broadcast with a special report on the massive psychic storm about to hit Atlantis. With more on this tragedy, we turn to Sal Sonic. Thanks, Sam. The reptilian pharaoh is about to unleash a planet-wide disaster of volcanoes, earthquakes, tidal waves, all caused by a blast of energy from the pyramid with our time travelers trapped inside. You will worship so bad now, Von Icken. I will have your soul, too. Selvik is the light. And the way. What? A uh, uh, moon? Is it? Is, Bunny! Is that what you say? Don't! Don't listen! Oh, if I could just wish us home! Wish, wish, wish us, wish us home! That's it! Huh? We prefer to think for ourselves, Sobek! So be it! If you will not worship, you will die! Sam Sonic here with this live update on the total annihilation of humanity. What's the latest, Sal? Oh, Sam, it's truly death and mayhem on planet Earth. In downtown Atlantis, the citizens are in a panic. Look at Empress Cleato. It's widespread panic in the disco. Somebody call the police. Run for your lives! Oh, you did it! <sighs> oh, oh. My stomach! Yeah, I wished it and teleported us back to the Palace of Atlantis? No, I was trying to get us back to the future! Up, Nobody dear. can get to the future! We're outcasts! Oh, Bunny! The waves are crashing around us! Oh, Oops, do I hear screaming trees? We scared too! Mother Fresco, come in! I have assembled the salsa fleet, and we are on our way to Earth. Num num num. The reptoid energy field already surrounds the planet. Two by two, Tinaka. That's who to you. Num 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 num. Yes, Mother Fresco, num num. All saucers, activate the Noah plan, num num num. Give out the word, abandon Earth. Folks, this just in. Scurrier saucers have appeared all over planet Earth and appear to be engaged in a rescue mission. That's right, Sam. Tanake saucer is beaming up the professor and Mamba now. And there goes Empress Cleato and the senators. Oh, I do hope this starship has a good air supply. I am not a crew. I cannot tell a lie. I am not an animal. The saucer fleet has descended on locations around the world, saving villagers in the Asian mountains and their goats. Sam, the Scurriers are rescuing many of the Earth's tribes to start over on fresh new planets of the refugees' choice. But Scurriers are not being very gentle about it. But, well, they are in a hurry. Look, there's the Dinka and some cows levitating in the tractor beams. The Noah plan is a success. Folks, it has now been confirmed the time travelers are safe on the Scurrier saucer, along with other survivors of this horrible catastrophe unfolding on planet Earth. Professor, we are on an alien spaceship. Not alien, Scurrier, num num num. Who are you? I am Tanaka, sent from 2012. You are safe now, num num. Mother Fresco, we got the Yanomami, Arthur Baskins, Aborigin, Taco Baga, Sumeria, Celts, Hopi, Elephants, We're Rangitans, safe! Hollywogs, but parrots, what now, Vani? Aha! Dwarves, I have no doubt tigers, there is bears, Plan B. Squirrels. Maybe we go live on Planet X? Nom nom, my children. Select a planet and go. Odgardia. Nom 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 nom. Look at them all. Mercury, Venus, Titan, Io, Ganymede. Oh, look! Just 30 seconds to Mars! Where do you want to live, my Liebchen? Anywhere with you, my Gatsingo. Um, wouldn't you like to go home to 2012, Num Num? 
But that is impossible. Nonsense. We just use a time boomerang. A simple 42B procedure. Oh, just step over here, you two num-num. Hold my hands. And click our heels three times? Hush, darling. Goodbye, Empress Cleator. Goodbye, you dizzy rascals. Good luck from the Queen of the Stone Age. You You too. Oh, Sam, it's just so sad for planet Earth. Trapped in 10,000 years of war, hunger, violence. We have more on that at CosmicSignificance.com. Thanks, Al. That concludes our special report on Atlantis, brought to you by Lazarus Long's new book, Grocket Man, at stores everywhere. We now return you to your regular program. Thank you for listening to Cosmic Significance Atlantis, brought to you by Aristotle's Bottle Rockets and Plato's Mental Modeling Compound, written by Dewey Davis Thompson, with sound effects and mixing by Dave Lassa, starring the voices of Ed Lehman, Susie DeVore, Steve Davis Thompson, Elizabeth Brackman, Clinton Lancaster, Magella Bernardo, Joe Montalto, Charmian Dewey, David Doyle, Andrea Bennett, Eric Dawson, Elaine Kasky, Dewey Davis Thompson, with special guest stars Mary Ellen Mill, and Nicholas Sumbro. Cosmic Significance is a Pirates and Angels production. Recorded at WMNF Studios in Tampa, Florida. Mm-hmm.